Hello out there, my name is Andre Neumann and um, I have a new little tutorial here for you right now. It um, includes some tips for hands-free operation of the Octatrack. The Octatrack is here right now and it's connected to the iConnect Audio 4 Plus and um, that's my audio interface so I need this for feeding it with um, the guitar and the OP1 and the microphone for example. So um, I just connected to there and now I can play and, and do whatever I want but I need my um, hands to use my guitar to play my guitar and I did some live videos and some live shows and this uh, was pretty bad for me to always push um, the record button on the on the octa track it's it's absolutely possible and totally fast but it brings you out of um, your your moment with you and your guitar so I was looking on the internet and I found um, a pretty cool tutorial from Cuckoo he's very famous and he did a lot of tutorials with a very inspiring person very inspiring musician and um, I learned a lot from him and he did a tutorial on pickup machines and um, there he used um, a cool device called the Yumi 3 and um, that's what it looks like it's basically a food controller um, with MIDI input and input for an expression pedal and um, with this you can um, use it um, to to remote control your octatrack with your food with your feet and it has three tracks it's it's pretty easy to set up um, there's a um, a software that comes from Logity and I bought it in the States so um, I had to go to the customs and um, custom clearance and um, but it worked anyway it took two weeks or so and uh, my first impressions I'm pretty happy with it so I'm used to this kind of quality it's it has good build quality it's really durable it's it's metal and I think you can take it um, outside of the studio and work with it I also um, tried Keith McMillan soft step um, but I sold it because I had some problems with hum for example there was a little hum sound if you turned on the LEDs it's another controller similar it has more features features it um, can do more but the simplicity that I want um, from from this device to remote control the Octatrack while I jam is totally um, in this device so I can recommend it and I can show you how it works so basically um, I connected to um, um, via via USB to my iConnect audio face that's the only um, downside you could also use an FCB 10 from Behringer as a as a device to remote um, control your Octatrack but it's really huge it's really big it's a tank and this is small and compact in size and as I try to go for example by bicycle to a to a show and play there um, that's perfect for me so um, the only downside, as I would mention, is that you need um, something like a MIDI host. So there are different solutions out there. I'm the lucky person because I got this iConnect Audio 4 Plus and that works for me as um, a as a um, MIDI host. So let's see what I got here. I got my Octatrack set up pretty, pretty basic. And the project settings, um, something is important and that's the MIDI channel. So you have to set um, the auto channel and you have to remind yourself what the auto channel is set to. Um, and if that, if you got this number, you have to set it uh, later on um, the MIDI device to, to make it work that it can automatically get the, the track that you're on. So that's the auto track feature. And I set it up this way that if I click the button, it goes down, 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 and the, the first button goes up. And in the middle, it, um, um, it records in AB. So I do not have to press this button. Um, I just can press the middle button and on the, uh, on the button one and button three, I can down, I can cycle through the different um, 
tracks and that's basically all that I wanted it's pretty cool to jam and I give you a little demonstration so let's see now I push the button Okay, now I recorded the first loop. I've got it set to to a r fixed recording length, so it's um, it's a perfect loop. And if I now set it um, to start a trick, I can hear the the perfect loop, and I can go to the next track just with the ease of my hand. It's just beautiful. I love it. So it, it starts and I can move on and on. Now I got two tracks and I can move on, etc. So I show you in the next part of the video how I set set all this up. It's pretty fun. Okay, so here are some uh, infos about my setup. In the center, of course, there is um, my Octatrack, and this is connected via MIDI to the iConnect Audio 4 Plus. Audio 4 Plus. And on the iConnect 4 Audio 4 Plus there are four inputs and I connect a microphone, a guitar, um, and for example an OP1. That's the audio signal. So the audio signal goes back to in A B of the Octatrack. That's audio to in A B. And that's the basic setup, so I can feed the Octatrack with all the different things that I want to feed in. And the cool thing is about the iConnect Audio 4 Plus, it has also something called like a host, a host port. And I use this host port to connect uh, the Logity Yumi 3, the MIDI food controller. I can show you some the backside of um, the iConnect Audio 4 Plus, again, it has um, the USB outputs. I connect these to to the Octatrack so that I can use it for feeding audio signal in. And here I could connect my, my iPad. And here is the host port that I mentioned. And this on this you can, um, you can connect there a USB hub and you can multi you can have multiple things on this USB hub and um, I've got there the OP1 and for example the uh, Yumi 3 food controller so these two are connected you can you can uh, connect more but that's what I have connected and then I have um, set up the um, the Logity Yumi 3 with um, these notes. You can find them in the appendix of the Octatrack um, da, 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 in a B in a B record in a B record and active track up and active track down. So now I show you how to set up your Logity Yumi 3. So this is how it works. Um, you just have to download the appropriate version of Yumi 3 setup panel and there you have it. If you open it, it looks like this and this is the the starting point and now um, everything is set up. You can see if it's connected, if you have here your show Yumi 3 info and this works. And then you take the Octatrack manual and look at the at the things that you can set up here. In this case, um, I want to uh, look at NAB record and active track and ac active up down. This way, I want to connect my Yumi three. And then you have this um, the the application. And here you can set um, the auto channel. As I said earlier, it has to be set to. Uh, number 11 on all three um, 
food switches channel 11 because this is the the auto midi track of the octo track and then you have to find the corresponding note first one is number 61 this is for goes here for my uh, middle button and for the first button I want to set it to active track up so I look at the number it's 68 I put it in here and number 69 goes one active track down so 69 put it here uh, ba, ba. it's a little hard sometimes to find this is number nine so now you have to save it to the Yumi 3 and boom you're done now you can connect your Yumi 3 from Logity to your Octatrack and um, yeah use it as I said before or of course you can also use it with um, let's say the pickup machines if, if you want it this way this uh, works also you just have to look how to um, um, find the number and then you do it the way you want. It's pretty easy and pretty straightforward. This connection file I can save for you and put it in the show notes. To check if everything works um, you can use a free tool it's called MIDI monitor and in the sources you just have to check that um, your Logity Yumi 3 is selected and then you can push the buttons and you see it has channel 11 and it has the right node and um, this should work. So thank you very much. This um, sums up this tutorial. Happy jamming, happy um, music making with the Octatrack. My name is Andre Neumann. Thanks for, for watching and yeah, look at the other cool tutorials and the jams that I did. Also check out Cuckoo's videos or um, the Cabinet of Curiosities. There's plenty of great um, information on the, on the internet from other cool guys. Thank you.